Hi, I'm Emily. Um, I am a violin slash viola slash piano teacher at Forbes Music Company. Um, I'm also a student myself, which some of my students are like, you can't be a student, you're a teacher. I'm both. Um, so I go to Purchase Conservatory. I'm working on my second year of my master's degree, so I'll be graduating in May, which is exciting, but also quite scary. Um, but I'm working on violin performance there. I started playing violin when I was six because my best friend, her name was Kate, she played violin and she was my age and she was really, really good. She was in like Suzuki book five or six at the age of six. It was incredible. She was amazing. So I was like, oh, well, I want to take violin. That sounds really cool. When I was in high school, I was like, yeah, I really want to, like, that's what I want to do. I want to be a violinist. And then I got into college and I auditioned and I placed really horribly in the orchestra and I was like oh my gosh I don't think I can do this like I'm not very good because everyone else was so good and then I was like well if I really want to do this I can you know I can practice and work hard and you know then I, I realized probably my sophomore year maybe my freshman year even of college that this was like this is really what I wanted to do like I love it and someone told me if you do what you love you'll never work a day in your life um, so performing and teaching doesn't feel like work all the time, um, which is great. I really, I really love what I do. So I'm glad I ended up on this path. Um, let's see, so my favorite performance of myself, which is always hard for musicians to be like, oh, I really liked how I sounded, or this was really fun, because we're always really nervous, um, was Maybe a year ago, in so a little less than a year ago, in March, I played with my old orchestra, the University of Northern Colorado Symphony Orchestra. Um, I got to play this piece called, um, it's by Ravel, it's called Sagan, which literally translates to, to Gypsy. Um, so it's this crazy Gypsy Rhapsody, it's really, really amazing, and I got, um, I won their competition with it, so I got to come back in March and play with them. And, I've never played with an orchestra for like a huge piece. I've done a couple like smaller things, but this one was like, I had won this. Like this was really important. Um, and it's my favorite piece in the entire world. If anyone is watching this and has a chance to actually look it up on YouTube, not me playing, just like anybody. But it's, it's incredible. It's the coolest piece ever. Um, Just work hard, but don't forget to enjoy what you're doing and don't get so hung up in the music and the articulations and the bowings and the intonation, but still try to actually enjoy yourself musically and remember this is music. You have to play it musically. You have to be musical and we have to sometimes reach really down, deep down, far inside of us to find what we need to do for music. But I think to make a performance exciting and enjoyable to us as performers. We have to forget about all of the tough, difficult stuff and just be musical and just love what we do. I admire David Oistrock, who was a violinist who has since passed away, but he's my favorite violinist. Every time I'm learning a piece, I listen to his recordings if I can find them. I just I just think he's incredible at the violin. I just He's amazing. Um, both of my teachers in my college degree years, uh, Jubal Folks and now Deborah Buck, I find them really inspiring. Um, working with Debbie in my lessons is just, I come out and I just, I want to go practice like right then and there because of all the amazing things that she has told me throughout the lesson, throughout the week. Um, I do, I have plans. So I'll graduate in May with my master's degree and then I'm going to stay at Purchase for another year and do what's called an artist diploma, which most people don't understand what it is. It's basically just another year for me to work with my teacher and work on my playing, um, you know, work on myself as an individual um, and then get a degree out of it still, even though it's just a certificate. And then I will continue on after that year onto my doctorate um, because Getting your doctorate in music allows you to teach at the collegiate level, which is something I'm interested in. And also, I just, I really love school. I mean, I get to go every day and learn. That's, I don't, I don't, I can't think of much better. So I want to stay in school forever. <laughs>